Hey guys, so on today's video we are going to be talking about uh, doing some hobby. We're going to do uh, some painting white, white shoulder pads obviously. I see a lot of folks ask about getting a crisp clean white and people just often decide to not do that because it seems really hard or too, or too challenging to get a smooth clean white. But um, I'm going to show you how to get a nice crisp clean white uh, using just a couple of paints and you can see here nice and smooth nice and crisp um, I prefer that clean look so if you want to be able to do that you can use this uh, to do that we're gonna use Vallejo game color ghost gray and Vallejo model color white the ghost gray this is equivalent to uh, or close enough to Othwen um, gray from games workshop so very similar color on that one Mixing your paints properly is going to be really important on this. Uh, you want to make sure that they are thin enough to give you good smooth coverage, but not necessarily so thin that you're going to run into issues. Um, I prefer to use Vallejo's Airbrush Flow Improver, and uh, it's good stuff. It has a retarder in it so that uh, it slows the drying of the paint, gives you more time to work with it, um, and that sort of stuff. Um, so ideally, uh, you're going to want to base coat white. I know that sounds really simple, but uh, you know that's that's going to be the ideal way to do it. It'll just make it easier. It's not necessarily better, but um, it will make it easier for you. You'll need less coats. Um, but we're also going to do, I know sometimes it's not possible to base coat the shoulder pad separate, uh, looking at you, Dark Imperium intercessors. So uh, we'll, we'll do it with black too, and you guys will be able to see how, how to do that as well. All right, so we're going to get started here. You just want to make sure you get nice, smooth, even layers. Obviously, it's a lot less noticeable on the white. And it is in the black. The black you'll see looks a little, a little ugly at first, but it'll it'll smooth out. This is a really great paint. So you can see, even with just one coverage, one coat uh, on this, nice, uh, nice coverage over black with basically what is an off-white. On the white itself, two coats probably enough because it's already base white. Because when you hit this with your white primer, you don't necessarily need to have it to be full white coverage. You want enough paint on there. When you brush on, we'll be able to adhere properly. That's, that's the purpose of primer. You don't need to have full coverage um, when you're priming. Notice I clean my brush a good amount. Um, don't want to have dried paint on your brush. See how smooth that is? Just got to make sure you have nice thin layers. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the white. 
and I wanted to give you an idea of the consistency uh, that it should be. You want the white to be thinner for sure. Um, so you can see you can see how thin that is to kind of give yourself a guide on what we're, what you want to look for here. Um, this is important for uh, getting that nice smooth finish. If you're in doubt, a little thinner is better than a little thicker. So, all right, and we're gonna, uh, when we paint this, we're gonna leave the corners the old one gray, or the ghost gray, I guess it is, in this situation here. And it doesn't have to be a perfect precise line. We're gonna leave just a little bit of that showing. Just get this little part right here. I'm gonna paint nice and smooth, thin coats. We're gonna go over back over this again. It looks a little rough right now, but that's okay. Just remember how the ghost gray looked initially on the black. We're gonna do a couple coats of the white as well. All right, so for this final stage, we're gonna thin the paint down even more, almost to the consistency of a glaze. Um, and that's what's gonna give us uh, the nice, uh, smooth uh, finish in the end here. If you feel like it's going on too thick, don't be afraid to get a little bit of water and just kind of help it glaze, glaze a little bit better. Alright, so after we've let these dry, uh, we can see that we've got a nice smooth coat on each of them. Nice smooth white, a little bit of shading with that uh, ghost gray showing in the corners there. Um, and then uh, now we're ready for uh, decals, which uh, I'll probably be doing next on our uh, hobby section. So keep an eye out for that video. Uh, if you guys like this video, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And we'll see you next time.